Okay, okay, we are back with Doja Cat, unisex uh, freestyle. Looks like it's produced by Doja Cat as well. Uh, and I'm reading this here. It looks like the song came out in 2018, but she fully released it on 2020. Let's check it out. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> These Doja Cat melodies, dude. <laughs> just a, just a dump. Like, like that, that, that's the main, the lead instrument here for the chorus. It's definitely like a Doja melody. <laughs> this sounds here. This sounds cool here, though. The vocals are very quiet again dude the fact she released this two years after it was like leaked online or whatever i don't know if it was leaked or not but you think that at least like adjust the 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 audio mix right like man yeah, I got juices from, I this got there we go <laughs> okay dude doja's just having fun on this track dude she's just having fun on this track uh but she's spitting she's spitting that's for sure uh <laughs> i don't know man this is one of those goofy tracks but it's not like it's weird because she can do like goofy tracks and still make them cool um but then there's like degrees of that like moo moo is a goofy track and that one's like top tier even though it's like a goofy track it's top tier this one's also a goofy track but it's not as it's, you know it's I, I, I feel like it's unfair to compare it to moo but i don't know it's it's, it's goofy man sounds like a ringtone type beat song is cute as fuck it's funny like she even said herself the song is funny man it's, it's one of those goofy tracks but it also has the fireness to it she just knows how to make goofy stuff fire it needs to be mastered i'd say the vocals the vocals were definitely uh improved i, th I mean i don't know what the original version was but the vocals actually fit in and blended well with the beat. It wasn't too loud. It wasn't too quiet. The vocals for the verses were on point, but for the choruses, it was it was too quiet. I think the chorus uh, vocals need to be a little bit louder. Oh yeah, so it's a SoundCloud track. Okay, what's everyone saying? A bop. Love this. The song is so good. Do that dishes. This fire. Yeah, it was a cool track. I'm not a big fan though. Um. I don't know, man. It was it was goofy, man. It had it had like the ringtone type beat, man. Like she said, it was cute. And I guess you know that's that's the nice way of saying it's a ringtone type beat. Um, you know what? You know what? I don't think I've ever deleted a Doja Cat song. You know the the keeper delete thing. I'm gonna delete this one. <laughs> Just because I mainly because I haven't I haven't done that before. And I'm not. I don't know, man. This one's goofy. There's some good parts. The lyrics. 
but it's just I don't know, man. I feel like she does this hundreds of times. I've listened to a lot of Doja Cat songs now, and I feel like this style of song is she does it all the time. And even though she can make it fire, it's just like I don't know, man. I feel like I'm getting tired of it. I feel like I'm getting tired of it. I've heard it so many times now where it's like this it's good like dude it's good but it's just like a rehashed concept it's like how call of duty every year drops a new call of duty oh a new call of duty i'm so hyped to play the same fucking thing you know what i mean like like fuck call of duty i hate call of duty i don't hate doja cat but it's just like this you know and a comparison how it's like just a rehashed concept or whatever i don't know i don't know i'm not a fan not, well, I mean, I'm a fan of Doja Cat, but I'm not a fan of the song. Keep her delete. I'm a delete. Uh, what will I rate this one? I'll give it a solid seven. It, it, I'll give it a solid seven. Cool. 